This boat is shifting away. Oh my god, this boat is shifting away. See what's cooking. Ah, this lead is so hot. <laughs> Start with me spontaneously want to go away at last minute to see the fall colors. However, most hotels are pretty much booked. I remembered back in the summertime, I wanted to go to Kingston, but the trip never happened. I start browsing for a place to stay near the Kingston area, and then I came across a listing that's a yacht. Even better, it is on one of those islands in the Southern Island region on the Canada side. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> we finally got onto Hawaii Island and the ferry ride was very efficient and quick. So we're heading to our yacht Airbnb. So we have a ride our stay for the night. Yeah, we've been doing this for about six years. Although this is a new listing, the hosts, Courtney and Chris, have five other listings and they have been managing Airbnbs for over six years. They are experienced super hosts. This yacht is about 20 feet, dock at the pier adjacent to the host house. On the deck, there is a small barbecue and a bistro table and chairs to sit. Inside, it features two separate sleeping quarters, a fully equipped kitchen, a cozy lounge, and a bathroom. This boat is far enough from the shore that you get good privacy. It's quiet throughout the day. We enjoy the cozy ambience at night, also eating breakfast while watching white swans. Water is provided for cooking, washing, and showering. There are electronic outlets throughout the yacht to charge your phone, camera, etc. On our night of arrival, we were treated to delicious homemade pizza cooked out of a stone oven. If you think it's a yacht, it's nothing special. Wait until I show you how to get onto this island. The island where we stayed is called Hall Island. It is the second largest island in the Southern Island region on the Canadian side. To get on the island, there are two ferry lines. Both work seamlessly and operate until at least midnight. I prefer the Bishop line as it's a tiny lake ferry that only carries three cars at max.
This cable operated ferry is also called a fault ferry. It operates on demand, carries three cars at max, and takes approximately three minutes per crossing. And the cost? Eight Canadian dollars for a round trip. Since you will be living on an island, it is recommended to bring enough groceries to make simple meals, but just enough for your stay. We're having instant noodles tonight, and let's see what's cooking. Ta -da. Ah, this lead is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you gotta use like a napkin or something to hold the uh, the the I handle. Know, I know, I know. So hot, almost burn my fingers. I just didn't want to tell you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you not. <laughs> If we had more time, we would love to sit and relax on the deck. Although we didn't get to do that, the host took us on a speedboat ride to see the Thousand Islands close and personal. We are leaving to see the Thousand Islands! had a wonderful two night stay at the yacht. If you're looking for something unique, also close to home in Ontario, you have to check out this gem. The host have five other listings and they are all in the same area. I'm also going to show you one of their listings, which is called the Bunkies. This unique setup is a waterfront complex, consists of three lodges. It features common areas and six bunky style bedrooms. Four bedrooms are side by side, attached with a screen-in lounge area. The other two are front to back. All rooms have queen beds. Common areas including kitchen, dining, bathrooms are on the lower level of the main lodge. The upstairs of main lounge is a fully enclosed separate unit. Altogether, this is a great spot for groups of friends, fishermen, and families. It's like, I've never seen a stove like this before. Yeah. Oven. Oh, the fire in there. Thanks so much for checking out another one of my unique stay video. I really appreciate it for staying tuned and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>